Clambers, welcome back for another episode of free and budget campsites in New South Wales. Mate, we're at the moment, we're at a, it's a funny name, Yamungary Recreation Reserve. It's open for campers and stuff like that. It is a very budget campsite. Look, non-powered site, ready for this? Five dollars! And with power and water, well, it's pretty steep here, guys. Now you can take that to the bank. Seriously, this is a cheap campsite. It is very open. You've got a couple of shaded bits where you can park under the trees where I'm at the moment. So look, there's plenty of places to park here. And the toilets, look, I'll give you a bit of a heads up with the toilets when I get there. They're cold showers. But seriously, out here at the moment, at 32 degrees, a cold shower sounds fantastic look they're beautiful people who actually take care of the place uh, they're very very honor at all so if you need anything ask them and they will accommodate you I'll give you a look at the park anyway let's go have a look what do you reckon right uh, you can't really miss this campsite like I said it is uh, 40 k's out of Dubbo follow the Newell Highway um, and it's heading north of course and it's on your right hand side just follow that your maps will take it here go through wiki camps uh, get directions um, it will take you exactly here look you're looking for it's called sawmill road um, it's a bit of a dirt track uh, but yeah look just follow it out there and also if i look over my left hand side i can see two east signs so there's a pub nearby in walking distance oh well, i don't know probably 100 meters how's that hey eh? pretty good Right, when you turn up here, there's a building on your right hand side, and it's got a big stop sign, you can't really miss it, seriously. Um, just pull up, see Belinda or Brian, one of the two, they'll come out and see you. You pay your money and everything else. Look, like I said before, powered sites are dirt cheap, mate. Seriously, they're 10 bucks. Mate, I'm on a non-powered site at the moment. Look, uh, give them a ring. The phone number is 04019-42757. Look, just give them a ring. Ask for Belinda or Brian, and they'll help you or accommodate you and anything you need. Oh, by the way, it is dog friendly, but make sure you pick up your dog's poop because I don't want to treat in it. So make sure you do that and you can dogs can run around. It doesn't say anything about on a leash at all, but take care of your dogs. Right, yeah, I was going to turn around and say, here's one of the campsites. There's not really many camp, oh, there is heaps of campsites, but it's just a big oval. Seriously, it's like park wherever you want to park, get a spot, you're laughing. Mate, this seriously, this place can house up to, oh, I don't even really know. We'll, give, we'll throw a number 150 caravans. Look, it is a very huge place. Just having a look around here, there is fire pits everywhere they supply. Look, you can actually move them down near your caravan if you want. They, they asked me that if you do do that, keep it on the gravel area. Hang on, I've got a thing in my foot. It's a Monday, look, ow. Look, they do ask you to keep it on the gravel because the grass is pretty dry out here and you don't want black marks on the thing. Fire pits are for free. Uh, they also uh, sell wood. I was about to say timber, remember? Timber you build, wood you burn. Now, it's an honesty box. It's only a donation, but there's plenty of timber here. Have a look. There's big bits and there's kindling. <laughs> one of the power sites they've got over close to 20 power sites here look they've got the boxes on the side which is right behind me and then you can park anywhere you can that you can actually fit and then run your extension lead to wherever you need now this sort of area here is really close to the toilet and you've got a quite a few down this end and they're on tarmac so let's go have a look at those ones here we go one of the powered sites on it's not tarmac it's blue metal crushed and it's compacted so you're not going to get boggy or anything else look there's just a box over here there's one over they've got actually two campsites but each box houses two campers so if you lift it up look plenty of plugs you've got one you've got two four six six plugs so you've got quite a few here now you've got also fire pits in this area if you want to start a fire they have got allocations if you can see behind me these little white dots it turns around and tells you where you're supposed to park look there's not many people here but i was talking to the caretaker 
um, just a second ago, and she said on Boxing Day, this place was humming. humming. So look, there does get a few people out here because of the so cheap, and it's not very far out of Dubbo. In this area here, there's not many shaded areas. You've got a tree down the bottom here, and where I'm parked, which I'll show you very shortly, a non-powered site. Ah, beautiful. Yo, the toilet blocks. Now look, there's two toilets, two showers, basin, hand sanitizer, and also they've got some really nice toilet paper. Yes. And they're flushing toilets, not drop toilets. Now look, out of five, three and a half stars. But look, they're a nice toilet inside. They're clean, they've got toilet paper, hand sanitizer, no paper towel, but on 40 degree heats, you come out here, you put, put your, your hands, hands up in the sun, and they dry straight away. Rightio, duty groovers. Mate, we're at a non-powered site area, which is all that. But I camped here underneath the trees. Gives me a little bit of shade to get my fridge down. Now, if anyone's got comments on fridges and stuff like that, please leave them down below. Look, I've got a Dometic fridge, and even on gas on days like today, it battles to get under seven degrees. Now, if you've got the same problem, let us know. Give some feedback on some fridge and stuff and see what I can find out that might be able to help you guys out in the future about fridges and keeping your stuff cold. Oh. Look, there's plenty of parking space where you can go. Look, I'm only parked, so around 100 metres away from the toilet, so if you gotta go, you gotta go. I read this book the other day, did I tell you? It was, a, it was called A Hundred Metre Dash to the Toilet by Willie Macon, and it's quote by Betty Don't. Righto, there's also a post office around here. Apparently it does everything. It's a grocery store. It's a post office. It's a gift shop. A fruit and veg place. Uh, brothel. No, no, that's not a brothel. No, I don't know what it is, but no. It, it caters for everything around here. Look, it's not a big shop. What you need to get, you can get it from that shop. Sorry, your call cannot be dialed. out here. Yeah, look in me RV, I've got one bar. If I move it around the RV, I get two. Look, more than likely, put it outside, you might get three. Don't know. But you get a little bit of phone reception out, 4G. Um, also, I noticed a train went by, and it was a long train. So look, at the moment, it came past at 1400, which is two o'clock in the afternoon, if anyone wants to know about that. Um, I will let you know if there's any more trains that come along here, but at the moment I got told you only really get one a day. So, and that's at the middle of the day, and it was, well, it wasn't that noisy, you know? It is, well, okay. It was noisy compared to what you're hearing right now. Nothing, except the wind in the trees. Can't even hear the birds. It's probably too hot out here for the birds. They're probably already pissed off. The birds probably think it's too hot and gone. I'm getting out of here, bro. Let's get the flock out of here. <laughs> Let's get the flock. Birds. Uh, all right, bad poppy joke again. Right, water. You got town water here. It's not bore water, it's town water, so it's mwah. Well, you know, I wouldn't say it's mwah. But here's a little thing. When I went to Woolies today, they've got the caskets of water now. So I thought, oh, give that a try. And it's from Tasmania. Apparently, Tasmania's got the, one of the best tasting waters in the world. So good on you, Woolies, for getting that water in and supporting a small town like Tassie. Uh, well, yeah, well, it's a town, little island, part of Australia. If anyone doesn't know about Tasmania, and it's a little bit on the bottom. You can't miss it, it's a little triangle. Map of Tassie, that's what we used to say. To you guys out there know what I'm talking about. Show us the map of Tassie. I know, I know, but Tassie water, give it a try. Righto, actually things to do around here. Boo. There's not much to do, clampers. Seriously, it's about relaxing, doing nothing out here and in a hot. At the moment, in my RV, it's hitting 34 degrees. And I'm standing out in the sun, which is bellowing down at the moment, sun rays, and I'm getting burnt. But anyway, look, there's not much to do out here. Dubbo's 40 k's that way. Go to Dubbo Zoo from here. It's, uh, it's safe, I'll give it that. 
um, I've left my van open since I got here, so the safety wise is A1. Um, I'm looking around at the moment, look we've got one, two, three, four, five, maybe five, six caravans. Not many, you know what I mean? Look on, on certain weekends they might be all full, but at the moment, eh, you've got heaps of space between, as you can tell, I've got no one around me, so I can fart no one smells on eight. Right out, clambers. I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you do. Turn notifications on. Hit the subscribe button wherever it is over there, over there, uh, somewhere. Um, and oh, oh. oh no, not another one. Small commercial from me. Here we go. Right out, guys. Just a bit of a heads up with that new link I put in the description of my, it's a Google map of all my sites that I've gone to. Now I've made it easy for you guys, it's, it's like an index. Now what you do, if you don't know where any of these campsites are, find out where you are on the map. Now you'll see the little red dots all around the place. Now once you've loaded that up, it brings up a Google map of course, and of Queensland, of, well it brings up all of Australia. And it brings up all the little dots that I have done reviews on. So if you don't know where you are and you don't know what campsite's near you, open it up, pick the campsite that is closest to you, Bob's your uncle. And I hope that helps you out, guys. No worries. Talk to you soon. Right, uh, it's not a really small commercial. So like I said before, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, turn notifications on, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Have a great weekend.